Tori here with another Workplace Wednesday video. Today I'm showing you how I store my mini distress inks and ink dabbers or foam, what do you call those? Foam thingies. Sure you know and you're screaming at the, the camera right now. Um, so let's start with a mini ink mini ink distress inks so i got this container from simon says, says stamp i ordered it online and it's the oh look at that i've got brown ink on the back sorry it's the mini distress ink storage tin and it's perfect you can store 12 mini inks in there which surprisingly enough is the number of mini inks that i have i don't have a ton of them and they just fit in perfectly and they don't fall out or move around and because it's clear you can see through to which inks you have so if you got a lot if you had a whole bunch more mini inks this container is perfect for it and I just store the inks in there and then if I have a I think this one had it if I have a foam applicator thingy that's that color I just store it underneath and it doesn't take any extra space and those are perfect in there so I love that so that's I normally I just MacGyver my own storage containers like from things I find at the dollar store but when I saw this I was like it's perfect and I had my mini inks like in a container like this before and they kept falling out or the lids fell off or whatever where with this like even if I shake it they're staying if I turn it upside down they're staying put and I mean, I just love it. So Tim Holtz truly knows what he's talking about when he creates these products. So, um, yeah, so that I got from Simon Says Stamp. And then this container, I don't know if you can tell what it is. It's actually, I think, a Ferrero Rocher container box or a chocolate box of some kind. Okay, you want to know something really great about my family? is whenever they have containers or boxes that they're done using, they ask me if I want it, which typically I do for some storage techniques. So um, I think my dad gave me this clear container and it's perfect for storing the like little foam pads for my mini inks um, or my mini distress inks. So I just keep them all in there. Some of them I've already used. Um, and then I have one little mini ink blending tool and then all the foam tabs are in there and I know it's not super like nice and neat or tidy but for me it works and it's easy and I can store these two together I can see what they are for me like I think it's really important in my craft room to be able to see what I have um, like with clear containers or things with a clear piece on them because if I don't see it, I won't use it. But if I can see it clearly, I'll use it. So um, so I guess my tip for you today is if you can't find something that works, go with the, um, the distributor. See if they have something. And use those boxes and containers that are left over from chocolate or whatever. And I'm really happy with the way that those work out. So anyways, that was just a quick video for today's Workplace Wednesday video of how I'm organizing my craft room. Um, I hope you all have a lovely day. I think um, I'm having fun showing you how I'm organizing my stuff. I hope you're enjoying it. So if you're enjoying this series, maybe give me a like um, below or subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you, and I try to respond to everybody's comments. So thanks, everyone, for joining me. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.